in Senegal, near the Sahara Desert, temperatures are rising by 50%, more than the global average, and this is greatly affecting farmers. Now, who is doing something about it? This is Sojo Elsewhere. In the Christian Science Monitor this week, we head west of Africa in the Sahara region of Senegal, where drought is turning into a vicious circle for farmers as rainfall decreases and the soil compresses. Now in response, hundreds of farmers in these communities have revived the ancient technique they call zai, which involves making small indentations in the ground that capture rainfall and increase the fertility of the soil. Farmers are experimenting with earth auger -er drills to make the process more efficient. In one hectare, more than 10,000 holes are drilled. Please check out the story. So there's a myth that young people can't or shouldn't feel or be lonely. Like how? I mean, come on. We are all just out here trying to adult without crying. Let me slide in an opinion. I think we actually rarely admit that we are lonely. We want to pretend we're happy. But truthfully, very many young people around the world are actually lonely. At times, I feel lonely too. Well, the BBC People Fixing the World has covered an interesting model from the Netherlands where 15% of young people have reported loneliness. A youth club named Join Us helps young people who struggle to make friends grow up in confidence and actually learn how to make friends. The beneficiaries report that they have beaten social anxiety from socially awkward to social butterflies. We think you will love this story. That's all this week. If you have a solutions journalism story you think we may like or the world may enjoy, send us an email at solutionsnowafrica at gmail.com. My name is Dan Ayevali, and if you are in Uganda, come to Stories and Bites and have your coffee. Thank <laughs> you.